can you see this beautiful head wrap this beautiful style in this tutorial i'll be showing you how you can tie this beautiful head wrap in five minutes or less yes so basically of course definitely you are going to get your head wrap you can either use a head wrap or like a scarf or you can use your gilly but just know that your head wrap or your gilly needs to have a level of thickness for it to stand very well so you can see that you saw the width of the gilly i'm using and the length of the gilly is just basically like an arm's length for example if you spread your two arms together if you are my height so it's just that length so you can see first of all you are going to want to um pleats make some pleats this is basically actually optional you can decide to wrap it without your pleats however i just want to put pleats to add a little bit of you know um the style to it so you can see i'm trying to do the pleat and the measurement the dimension for this gilly is 70 30 meaning one side is very very long and the other side is just like short so it's 70 30 so now you are going to wrap it from the back of your head and what you are going to do is you are going to um twist it ensure that it's at the center of your head you can see the very short hand i'm telling you that is 30 so take note it's 70 30 and for best um maximizing of this i suggest you don't use a gilly that is way too long so you can see that i'm just tying it once i'm tying it as tight as i can at this point this is where you should get your gilly very gripped or your head wrap very gripped because any other thing from here will not add to the gripness so you need to have it as gripped as you can so you don't want to be dancing and they'll say ah madam it's like your gilly is on the floor so we don't want that so now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be trying to make a bow and you know the way a bow is like this um uh, mickey mouse bow you can see there is one it's like a knot so what you want to do is you are going to make a bow so the 30 is going to be like the knot that cuts across the bow so the first thing i'm going to do in order to make my bow creation very easy is the end of that 70 part of the gilly i'm just going to pin it together i'm just going to tack it together the reason i'm doing this is just for you know for it to be like for me to be able to easily do it you know you have to make things easy the way you want it as easy as it can be for you so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to try to create equal portions for this bow equal sides both on the left and for the right so while i'm doing that that part that i tacked that part that i tacked i'm going to now tack it behind you can see i'm trying to do it. don't mind me i was really struggling with a very small mirror but once you are set on your mirror and everything then this is as easy as it is so i'm tacking that that one that i tacked the 70 end that i tacked i'm going to tack it at the back okay so you can see i'm just going to be using a pin the beautiful thing about this kind of head wraps is that these are something you can do yourself you don't need to be paying people to tie your gilly for you to stand out at an event or an occasion no this is why i'm here for you yeah so now that you have done this you are going to of course secure your bow now like secure the knot but you don't want to do it so it doesn't be sh look shabby so you are going to start gathering it from the middle so it gives this like scrunchy effect like a fine knot that is being tied so what you want to do because i've already given i've already done that i'm just going to pin it i'm going to pin it so it doesn't you know scatter while i'm arranging my the 30 the 30 part of the gilly so you can see i'm just going to pin it to know that okay i've already held this together so now what you want to do beauty of gilly is neatness coordination organization you can see i'm trying to arrange the 30 so that by the time i'm crossing it it is very neat no romp romp in the corner so you can see it that it's going in smoothly i didn't mean i just carry it like that the thing will be very rumpled and it will be neat and you want your gilly to be neat so when people look at you they'll be amazed that ah, 
So you are the one that tie this fine gilly, eh? Fine auntie. So what you are going to do is you will take it to the back and you are going to pin it there also. So always make sure you have your pins handy. These pins are stuff you can reuse after you have um, taken off your gilly. So just have your pins handy. So you, mo you pin it to the back pin it as much as it can so it it is well gripped so when you are arranging your bow it will not go off so you pin it as much as you can but make sure to pin it in such a way that it doesn't look like they stab you pin from the back so it doesn't look like it's too it's very obvious so you pin it in such a way that it looks neat and very presentable mind you if you have if you have your head done your fine hair um, you can as well have left the back so that your hair can fall. But if you're on low cut or your hair is not too excellent, like the way mine was, that's why I covered the back. So I'm just going to, you know, pin it and um, until it, I feel that it is well, well gripped down. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start spreading out the bow. You can see it's giving this crunchy effect like somebody tied, you know, the way you tie like a knot or a shoelace. That's, that's effect. Uh -huh. So you can see it. So I'm going to make the um, bow as equal as possible. So you want, you can see any part that is excess from the other, I stuff it inside. Any one that is too small, I bring it out. So you want it to be fine and it should be proportionate to your head. You don't do the one that is so long and big. Just do it the way, you know, that you, you will bring your face out and you stand out. So once you have that set, you will now meet the two in the center. You can see the two edge. You meet it together. You can meet it together, then you pin it there. So once you have you do that, so basically you are just meeting the, the, the top of the two hands of the bow. You are just going to be closing up those gaps. So as I've closed up the top, I also close up the one in the middle. So just keep watching as this part is quite well explanatory. So this is how the ending part should look. You can see it's giving all that it should give. At this point, if yours does not look like this, please redo it. Watch this video again until you get it. So it's giving everything. And all you need to do, train your makeup, put in your accessories and your clothes. And literally, you are ready to kill the show. So basically, this is how it looks. I hope you found this video very helpful. This video is super easy, super explanatory, and it is very very simple to do if you found this video helpful just do well to like this video i would really really appreciate that you can also share this to your friends or um your family members or someone you know would need this tutorial then also do well to comment where you're watching from i'd like to see where my viewers are watching from and also you know to appreciate you guys also comment if you have any tutorial in mind you'd like me to do for you I would love that and make sure to smash that subscribe button so that you can join the family you can see i added a little bit of design it's giving indian vibes yeah <laughs> so it's just being creative do all to um smash the subscribe button like this video subscribe hit the notification bell and bye